Divas. I want to review for you um, some of the new diamond painting pens that some of the companies are coming out with. Um, you know how uh, sometimes we uh, are tired of perpetually dipping into the pink wax or whatever wax or scraping off one of the other waxes. They're coming out with new pens that are refillable. I think I put uh, I'm putting in a couple of my unboxings um, where I'm getting the uh, the pens from and this one I wanted to review for you. Uh, this one is one that you, you twist and it comes out the bottom. Now this is how much the pen comes with to begin with. See how much is in there? You might be able to see the problem already. Now as you crank it down it comes out the end. <clears throat> and let me tell you it likes to push itself a lot out of the end. So a tiny little crank will do it. will make it come out the end. And as I'm doing that, okay, until you get used to it, just make tiny little cranks because it does come out the end. Another problem I'm having is that as it cranks down, some of the residue, it sticks to the side of the, the casing. See what I mean? It sticks to the side of the casing, getting all of the wax that's in there. So it does waste some of the wax. Okay? I have a problem with that. These are also heavy in the hand when you're doing them. It's got a, a fairly thick point up here. <clears throat> so you can't completely see what you're picking up or putting down. All right, so that is another uh, difficult difficulty to this. All right, they are neat. They do work well, but I'm just saying they're heavy in the hand. They don't have any contour to make it easier for your hand. They're a little thick at the end, and sometimes if you push too much out, it just it spurts out, and you waste some, and then there's some wasted in the shaft of this. And to be honest, I don't know whether you can refill them or not. I haven't figured that out yet. <clears throat> so that's the one type. Another type I just got in the mail from a new company, and I showed you this in another in another video as well. Okay. This comes in a tube. Come here, you. Tubes are kind of crazy. I wonder what I can make that out of them. You kind of have to open both ends of the tube because of the... I don't know. It's kind of like air locked in there. And with nail stuff on, it's a little hard to get out, too. Just wiggle it out with your scissors. That'll be easy. Comes right out, then. This is a double-ended, a double-pointed one. And it comes with a really skinny point. You see that? A really skinny point? And that's what you dip in the regular pink wax. Okay? And you, I wouldn't use this on uh, gems or on specials. The ABs because it might scratch and take off your coating. The other end has a wax nib on it. Now this is perfect for ABs. It's a nice and skinny nib on the end too. And they screw in and when you start using them up you can screw in a new one. They do have refills. These are nice and lightweight in the hand. You can use this for regular drills too. You don't have to use this end at all. Okay, very nice. They come in, um, I have a gold one and I have a black one here. And those are the smaller size. The larger size, okay, here's the, um, the screw-in ends that you can replace. And actually, they're a bit bigger than the one it comes with. So let's see. If you put the bigger one on here. Huh. Come on, you. Okay, you can't screw the bigger one in. The screw's even too big. Interesting. All right, well, let's see if this is a bigger one or the same size. Oh. 
There we go. I have no doubt that they are going to work out a way in the future to um, get this all coordinated as to sizes and things. Because why buy an extra one in a different size that you can't use, right? Same end. That has a black tip and it's a small one. Hold on. All right, so I have no doubt that they will come up with sending the right size with it. I think there was a clear one or a pink one as well. So there's that. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try these. I know uh, I had the, a pen like this before, not in this cute of a, a deal here, but uh, that I like the wax on the end of it a lot. It's nice and, and small that you can see what you're doing. I just have to figure out what I'm going to use these. Anyway. All right. Um, that's it for this one. I'm going to keep reviewing all these interesting new pens that have um, a perpetual, um, you know, wax that shoots down to the bottom or, you know, has the waxy nub on the end that you can replace. I'm going to keep reviewing these things because...